Hey guys, Mistmaster1 here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we started off, well, you know, going through the galaxies that are readily available to us at the start of World 1 right here. We met up with our good friend Yoshi, we got some more stars, we got up to four power stars, this guy is slapping his stomach all silly like, and now in this episode, we're gonna continue onward through World 1 as we pick up more power stars. Oh. I kind of forgot that I... It didn't save after the fact when I did my last thing, so we're gonna watch this again, but that's okay because now we're gonna advance over to our new galaxy that's over there. But uh, we have this little guy to deal with right here. This guy, well, I guess we should have the. Well, before we even get into that, notice how he has, you know, a little star bit looking things he's holding up, and it says times 300. Uh, well, that might be your little clue as to what this guy's all about. Looks like you found a hungry Luma. Hope you've got a stack of star bits because these guys can eat. And just like from the first Mario Galaxy game, these guys are function the exact same way. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits I can snack on? So hungry, I feed me delicious star <laughs> This is so awkward. I need to chow on 300 then I'll transform. And just like in Mario Galaxy 1, you use star bits that you've collected to give to these guys, which we use B to shoot. And once you've given them enough star bits, like you see on the right there, it says out of 300. And as you give it star bits, it gets fatter, and the number goes up over there on the right. And once you've given it enough star bits that it wants, it'll actually move on to, you know, the things that you're kind of looking for. It's going to be like, transform! And now it's going to take those star bits that you've given it, go back out to the world map, and it will create an alternative path in the world. In every case, every time you fulfill the amount of star bits a hungry Luma wants, you can get yourself a new galaxy, like just open on the world map right there. Now that we've gotten all that said and done, we are going to, of course, not do this world yet, or galaxy yet. This is the flip swap galaxy. Uh, this is kind of going to be a shorter episode. All I'm after is the two stars in this episode because if, uh, well, at least if you live in America. It is uh, Thanksgiving today, the day I'm posting this on, what, November 24th? Yeah, it's November 23rd, about midnight. This is only a few hours after I posted my uh, first episode of this series, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it so far. And on uh, this episode, <laughs> I feel like I'm experiencing deja vu. In this episode, we're gonna get to the meat of this video now, which is the Spin Dig Galaxy and the two missions that are inside of it. And the first one we have is the dig -Legs Planet. That Luma Galaxy, the Hungry Luma Galaxy, I will tackle for next video. And since it is Thanksgiving, of course, I don't want this video to go on stupidly long. Like, I'm aiming for maybe around 15 minutes, which means I will kind of have to speed up a little bit here as I go through this. But, uh, in this galaxy, we will be introduced to our first real power-ups. Like, our first sort of, uh demonstration of what a power-up actually is. Some of them are back from the original Mario Galaxy 1, but a couple of them are new. You'll also find a couple of these drill enemies which you stomp on, and you'll get a coin out of it, not a big deal, but you'll see like this little glowy thing right here. This is the spin drill. Shake the Wiimote to start drilling. So instead of being able to just normally shake the Wiimote to do a spin, uh, while you're over a surface with the spin drill in hand, you can spin and you can get yourself over to another side of a planet or just part of the ground or go through the ground or whatever. It's really situational. And they really love to play around with this as you progress through the game. You can do various things to like, you know, oh, avoid that drill. Uh, you can do various things to get the coins that are up there. You can get a one-up mushroom that's in a cage, but I'm not gonna step, you know, step forward to do all those things. I'm just gonna go through here and talk to this Luma as this is the thing we'll have to do next in order to advance this galaxy. Ack, how did you get up here? Keep an eye out for other Lumas ahead. Try to find them too, because of course, <laughs> we're still in that sort of tutorial phase, and whenever you get into one of these launch stars, you get hit by an enemy or whatever, you do lose the drills, so be careful about that. Still in that sort of tutorial phase where Lumas transform into launch stars, which helps you get to other parts of the galaxy, other planets, that will eventually lead you to the star that you're looking after. And we have a couple of these guys. I have no idea what they're called, but they're like little spinny flower enemies. I'll call them that. And they are pretty docile at first, and then when they notice you, they'll just like spin around and be like, oh no, and then try to kill you and stuff. But a simple jump will deal with them really easily. We have ourselves another drill right here, and this level really focuses on using the drill in clever ways to get around the planets. Like this, we can use it to get to the underside of this planet, get some star bits while we're here. 
And uh, we're going to drill down this way again because we'll go all the way through that little spire here of dirt and we can actually find ourselves the Comet Medal of this galaxy like so. I believe that makes three Comet Medals because this will be our third galaxy we've explored. And now that all that is set and done, let's head over here and spin down because we have a minor puzzle here where we basically have to go through the top and bottom of this planet going through the ground, various points, and meet up with this Luma up here to advance to the next part. Whoa, where'd you come from? More Lumas or your friend kind of said the same thing. That's not really anything new. And I should be, you know, more adept to collecting star bits because I do believe there is a particular gimmick that is going to be coming up very soon. Uh, you know what? I'll actually go into the bo- Oh, you know what? Get out of here. Uh, no, there is another bonus area. You can, uh, you can try to kill some of these guys. <laughs> like the little spinny flower guys. Where did this guy go? I want to kill him for some star- Dude, these guys are fast. Holy moly. And yeah, we're like casually like five feet away from a black hole. No big deal. Uh, don't try to attack them while they're spinning like that. That's the wrong thing to do. You kind of have to be closed off and stuff before you can really do a spin attack like so. I wasn't thinking when I did that, but now I know. And the more you know, the less mistakes you make, so. It's a Paragumba. It's a Goomba that can fly. I'm going to be a complete jerk to this guy and say goodbye to your wings. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He actually made it all the way over there. And, of course, we have these disappearing platforms from the first level. Oh, my God. This is going to be terrible. No, Goomba. Don't do it. Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna fall to his death. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, it's it's fun to be a jerk to enemies. Uh, he didn't deserve that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, that Luma wasn't there originally, but we make our way over there. He, you know, obliges by turning into a launch star for us. Again, this is just the whole level to get you acclimated to using the spin drill. This one's a little unique. Oh god. If you take damage while holding the spin drill, you drop it. I'm not gonna show that off, just take my word for it. Have a lot of coins when we drill into this little planetoid right here, so that's pretty neato. We don't really need coins though, so I'm just gonna skip out on those. And we have another launch star, and we're gonna make ourselves to the place right before uh, the boss. Oh, what is this? Ah! It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship, it's called the Starshroom. We're shoving off soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I found this nifty headlamp, so I am now the Toad Brigade Captain. Yeah, it's these guys. You remember these guys from Mario Galaxy 1? There's a pretty scary monster just past here. Be careful. And I believe that's all he has this- oh, over there, okay. And we have a checkpoint and a launch star that can take us over there, but if you might have noticed, there's this blue guy over here. Luma Lee Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Shop. Just like the first game, I can sell you something helpful for only 30 star bits. And we can uh, use star bits right here, and we can either get ourselves a life or a one-up mushroom. Uh, honestly, I don't need either. Let's just get a life mushroom because I'm going to lose my one-ups after I finish this recording anyway. So you take your star bits just like the Hungry Lumas from earlier, and he, instead of turning into a galaxy, he will turn into a mushroom. So that's pretty nice. I'm not going to be relying on those things too much in this game because it does make it rather easy if you get life mushrooms all over the place. You really don't need to, but just to show it off, that's basically what they do. And those are our main uses for star bits, is attacking enemies, Feeding Lumas, all that jazz. But in the in the meantime, here's a Digaleg. Here's our next little boss fight. And of course, because this is a whole galaxy dedicated to the spin drill, we have ourselves a little boss that requires the use of the mechanics of said spin drill. And I probably don't really need to go into too much detail as to what we have to do. This guy will shoot out little drill enemies and be on the opposite side of where you are. Uh, he can shoot those drill enemies out, although he can destroy them himself. You have to wait until he comes back over and flips the uh, flips himself back around where the star is exposed. He's probably gonna do that again. Okay, good. Oh, be careful, he's coming back around. And if we could get a second hit, that'd be nice. If you're too far off like that, the game's not gonna count the hit, and you basically have to try again. That's kind of silly because the hit detection is honestly fairly- Oh! I am not paying attention right now. Well, no need to panic because you can get yourself some more spin drill if in case you do lose your little ability right there. But it does also go to show you that if you do indeed take damage, you do lose the spin drill. But yeah, we must drill his butt over and over again three times in order to get ourselves the star that he is holding. The way that I like to tell or telegraph these guys is you look for the red part, like the little yellow drills right there. Look for the red part. If it's close to you, they're going to go away from you. But if it's farther away from you, they're not. And you see the red part's close to me, so it's not coming to me. But that one had it farther away, so I need to be prepared to step on them. And can we get this? No, I was too far. That's okay. He's gonna take a probably okay. He's gonna take a few steps over this way. I might be too far, man. Okay, I might actually speed this up a little bit because now he's just gonna waste time doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, 
Oh, come on, dude. How did that not hit? Are you serious, man? I'm not gonna sit through another stupid phase of this boss. There we go. We slammed his butt three times and we get ourselves a power star. The boss is honestly really easy. I'm just really bad at this video game. Seems like we're taking on a boss every single video these days. I mean, we're only at episode three, but it's a good uh, pattern so far. Although the next video will not have a boss. Let's collect this power star in style by just flipping over to it like that. And every so often when you collect the power star, you will not uh, respawn or just return to the normal default position. Diggly's planted, collected, got ourselves the common metal, that's good. Oh, by the way, if you die... Oh, nice, got a 1-up. Every 100 coins you get, you get a 1-up, but that's not a big deal. Uh, if you get the common coin and you die without hitting another checkpoint after the fact, you will not keep the common coin and you must collect it again. But as I was saying before... And of course, we're advancing the next few stages of the world, but we're not going to tackle those until a later episode. Now, as I've been trying to say... Oh, one of my little guys is back. I was wondering what happened to the little fella after he fell off. He built a ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for you. <laughs> uh, th those guys are all friends of yours, right? And now we have ourselves a few additions to the ship. If you ever want to visit that ship, you can go out there with the warp pad. So yeah, every so often after you've completed a certain mission or have gotten a certain amount of stars, you will get yourself a few more guys to interact with and stuff like that. Like the toads here know, hey, everyone's waiting for you on the star shoe and blah, blah, blah. And then you can use this to get all the way over there. And this is nice because I believe they have ourselves a, we have ourselves a one-up mushroom over there for us. Thank you very much. And these guys say basic stuff like that spaceship is supposed to look like Mar- Oh, it is supposed to look like Mario, but if you ask me, it looks like more like Luigi. I'm getting a little too frantic here. Oh yeah, I wonder how, how Luigi is doing. I haven't really seen him since I've done Partners in Time, but <laughs> surely he won't make a cameo in this game. It's called Mario Galaxy. It's not called Luigi Galaxy. But yeah, you have yourselves a little hub world. You can go over there. The ship basically expands as you progress through the game. But now that all that is said and done, let's get back to Spin Dig Galaxy really quick. And coming up next is the second and last star we'll do for this video, Silver Stars Down Deep. And you might be asking yourself, Silver Stars? I thought we were collecting Power Stars, the little golden ones. Well, we are, but this is going to be a little bit of a variance, much like how it was in the first Mario Galaxy game, and I will explain the concept of how Silver Stars work later on in this mission, because the game kind of flat out tells you, and I don't want to repeat myself on something the game's already going to point out to us to begin with. Uh, the sign at the moment says be careful because as soon as you leave like just a few steps You will be encountered by the cosmic clones once again, and honestly This is uh, really stupid because you can make the cosmic clone. There's only three of them All you have to do hit this little crystal over here, and they're all gone all of a sudden problem solved and stuff like that Explore around the planet you can attack these piranha plants, and they will re reveal vines that can help you get across places you can get yourself some star bits which honestly would not be bad, but Eh, I'm doing fine on star bits as of right now. I mean, I did just use a lot of star bits in order to actually feed the hungry Luma and the other Luma that we just fell or fed in the last mission there. Have ourselves some star bits over here. But now that's all the exploration I want to do on this planetoid, how don't you say we actually make some progress? Because it is Thanksgiving. I don't want to make this video super long. That's why I've made a cut right there. We're going to come all the way up here to this piranha plant. Don't grab that vine just yet. Because when you're on the vine, you're kind of automated and you can't really get off. So we're just going to shake the Wiimote all the way over here, and this is going to take us to our next little... Oh. Would not be a Mario Galaxy Let's Play if we did not have the infamous low on battery. Well, this is the last mission I'm doing, so hopefully I won't have to put up with that for too long. It only took three videos for that to happen. I'm honestly not surprised. But yeah, we have ourselves a new set of areas to go through. Like I said in the last video, we will have a different set of planets. Oh my goodness. I just got body by this drill right here. Let me get your coin to refill my health. That's good. And of course, we will be getting ourselves various other... Because it'd be really boring if we just had the same exact mission over and over again with just like one little thing at the very end to change things up. They actually do a good job at varying the amount of things you do in each level. And I kind of just bypassed that right there, but you're seeing more instances of how the spin drill is actually being used. Like we bounced off particular parts of a wall to get trajectory, a particular angle. I am going to get zapped right here. Ow. <laughs> that was really dumb of me. Have a really fast one right here. For the fast ones, spin down right when they reach the point because you have to account for the delay that Mario's going through when he's spinning through the ground in the first place and versus how long it takes for him to actually get out of the ground and start falling down below. 
But otherwise, like, honestly, the spin drill, it does a good job at explaining it on its own. I don't have to say too much. You've seen what I've done in these videos so far. You should get the basic concept. Hey, Toe, what's going on? He's resident sleepering over here. Stars sparkle. Dude, he, he snores like I did it. A certain thing. Anyway. What's up, dude? According to my investigation, there is a silver star over there. My analysis suggests that if you get five silver stars, they will merge into a power star. Hmm. And that's the concept and the whole idea behind Silver Stars that I wasn't talking about earlier because the game flat out tells you. Is that the concept for Silver Stars is you will have five of them to collect in various missions across the game. And by collecting all five of them, you will get yourself a Power Star. So it's kind of like a little bit of a busy work thing, you could say. But it, they do have enough varieties in which you can collect the sort of Silver Stars to not make it as tedious. For example, we drill into the ground right here, we have ourselves a little indented area, and a bunch of- we have two silver stars right off the bat, collect all of them right here. There's two silver stars, we need to collect five, there's another one right down below. Be careful of how you aim yourself on a couple of these, because if you overshoot some things, like there's one particular silver star in this part that if you overshoot you have to go all the way back around again, and that's a bit of a mess honestly, and just a waste of time. Have ourselves three already, we're making good progress, there's only two more to collect. You can find one of them on the outside of this whole little planetoid thing here. I believe it's only, like, it should be around this particular turn, like so. There we go, there's four. And now all we have to do is find the last one, and if you're really cool, you can just spin down right here. And there you go, there's our five silver stars, and with their power, a full power star merges, or is created by combining all of them. And if you're really cool, you could also, if you miss that, you can do particular, like, wall kicks. I'm really bad at those to kind of get up there. Or you can just go all the way back around, you know. Don't be lazy and stuff like that. The game just wants you to get acclimated to how the spin drill works. And that should give you a good example. We will be seeing this thing and pretty much all the power-ups. Like, we'll get ourselves a handful of power-ups the game has to offer in the first world. And they'll basically be done explaining things by the time we finish off the first few parts of World 3. But there we go. That is the two stars that I would have liked to collect for this video. And to end off this video, we're actually in another different place aside from just the top deck. Got ourselves six power stars, more star bits, a few more coins, doesn't hurt. And uh, Lumpa here is going to give us a little thing. Well, well, what do we have here? A spin drill, huh? That's for digging? Yeah, dude, it's like revolutionary. Just don't go digging through the center of your face shift. Might get a headache. Ha, ah, you're hilarious. But yeah, uh, you have like this little central area of, well, the, the space shift, really. I don't know what else to call it. And you'll get yourself a little exhibit of all the power-ups that you can collect throughout the game. And you also have like this little blue orb thing here, if you're curious. Uh, talk to the Luma here. My job is to take energy from each power star and convert it, convert it into fuel. And that's pretty much the reason we've been collecting all of these stars in the first place, is to get power ship for the fuel so we can eventually make it to the world where Peach is being held at. And in the meantime, we get ourselves a little exhibit of all the power-ups we will be collecting. There's a total of seven of them throughout the game. We have our first one right there. And in case you're curious exactly where we are, we're in that little dome right there where Mario's hat is, you know, like where the hat is on the face ship. And the final thing I'm going to show off before, hey, how did you get out here so fast? That's not fair. Uh, you can actually, one thing to end off the video, you can actually get into this little thing. And it actually takes you back down to the center part where <laughs> the room is. And I never knew that for the longest time. That's pretty legit. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. We've collected two more stars. We have finished off another galaxy for the time being. And we're going to call it there. Also, depending on your actions throughout the game, this guy says things like, Oh, hey. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to say something about my batteries because they're low. W whatever. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode, we will continue on. We will actually explore this little galaxy that we opened, but we didn't explore yet. And we will also tackle this particular galaxy over here on the bottom right. So guys, I have been Mr. Master 1. This has been episode 3 of Super Mario Galaxy 2. And in the next episode, we tackle Flip Swap Galaxy, and I believe that said the Right Side Down Galaxy. And then we'll see what we'll do from there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. I should probably say that too. See you later.